someone doing this morning? Well, if you're wondering who I am, that's okay. The church staff is still trying to figure that one out. <laughs> My name is Michael Mason. I am the ministry intern here at First Baptist Hanford, and I just want to personally welcome you for coming here, whether you're in person or online. We're just, we're just glad that you're here. I just want to run you through some quick announcements on what we have coming down the pipeline. So on May 9th, we have our Mother's Day baby dedication taking place with a class that is also taking place on April 25th before the second service on that Sunday at 9.45. You can sign up online on our events page and child care will be provided for that class. Also on May 2nd from 6 to 7 p.m. we have our Connect Worship Night taking place. This is going to be a night of worship through music, through scripture reading, and through prayer. And this is a time that we can recognize that we oftentimes feel really distanced from one another, but we need to learn more about what it means to connect with God as well as connect with those around us. So I hope we can, I hope you guys can come out that night, 6 to 7 p.m. It's an open invitation for anyone who wants to come, and you can come anytime during 6 to 7 p.m. and leave as you like. Also, the last thing, we have giving boxes, so on your way out this morning, you can put a tithe in there, and you can also send tithe online at fbhanford.org, as well as on the app. So as we come into this time of worship, my hope is that we can just continue to revere the Lord and honor Him. So let's bow our heads and pray. Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you just for this morning, God. A morning in which we can just posture our hearts to glorify you, God. Not only with what we are speaking, God, but what we are thinking. So, God, I just pray in this time that we can focus. We can focus our minds and our hearts on what you have to speak with us this morning. God, we recognize that we are so weak, but God, in our weakness, you are made strong. So God, I just pray that whatever we're coming with this morning, the challenges, the issues, the hardships, God, I just pray that we can lay that down on the foot of your cross, God, and know that you are sovereign and that you are in control. And God, that you sent your own son to die in our place, God, and we have a hope that is within you. So God, as we, as we come into this time of worship, as we listen to Pastor Peter's word, Father, we, we just listen, we hear, and we know that you are Lord. So God, we thank you for who you are in our lives, and we pray that we can just learn more about you in this time. I pray this in your son's name, amen.